Yermiyahu chapter 50, the word that Yah spoke concerning Babel, concerning the land of the Kasdim by Yermiyahu the prophet, declaring among the nations, and let it be heard, and lift up a banner, let it be heard, and do not conceal it, say Babel shall be taken, Bel shall be put to shame, Merodach shall be broken, and her images shall be put to shame, her idols shall be broken. For a nation shall come up against her from the north, which shall make her land waste, and none shall dwell in it, they shall flee. They shall go, both man and beast. In those days, and at that time, declares Yah, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Yehuda together, weeping as they come, and seek Yah their Elohim. They shall ask the way to Zion, their faces toward it. Come, and let us join ourselves to Yah in an everlasting covenant, never to be forgotten. My people have been wandering sheep. Their shepherds have led them astray, burning them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain and hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All who found them have devoured them, and their adversaries have said, We are not guilty because they have sinned against Yah the home of righteousness, and the expectation of their fathers, Yah. Flee from the midst of Babel, come out of the land of the Kasdim, and be as rain before a flock. For look, I am stirring up and bringing up against Babel an assembly of great nations from a land of the north, and they shall array themselves against her. From there she shall be captured. Their arrows are like those of a mighty skilled man, not returning empty-handed. The Chaldean shall become plunder. All who plundered her shall satisfy themselves, declares Yah. Because you were glad, because you rejoiced, you who plundered my inheritance, because you have grown fat like a heifer threshing grain, and you neigh like stallions, your mother shall be greatly ashamed. She who bore you shall be humiliated. Look, the last of the nations, a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of Yah, she shall not be inhabited, but she shall be deserted, all of it. Everyone passing by Babel shall be astonished and whistle at her plagues. Set yourselves in array against Babel all around. All you who bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against Yah. Shout against her all around. She has given her hand. Her foundations have fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of Yah. Take vengeance on her. As she has done, so do to her. Cut off the sower from Babel. And him who hands loose the sickle at harvest time. From before the sword of the oppressor, each one turns to his own people. And each one flees to his own land. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. First the sovereign of Asher devoured him. And now at last this Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, has broken his bones. Therefore thus said Yah of hosts, the Elohim of Israel, See, I am punishing the sovereign of Babel in his land, as I have punished the sovereign of Asher. And I shall bring back Israel to his pasture, and he shall feed on Carmel and Bashan, and his being shall be satisfied on Mount Ephraim and Galad. In these days, and at that time, declares Yah, the crookedness of Israel shall be searched for, but there shall be none, and the sin of Yehuda, but none shall be found. For I shall pardon those whom I leave as a remnant. Go up against the land of Merathiaim, against it, and against the inhabitants of Perkold. Slay and put them under the ban, declares Yah, and do according to all that I have commanded you. There is the sound of battle in the land and of great destruction. How the hem of all the earth has been cut off and broken. How Babel has become a ruin among the nations. I have laid a snare for you, and you were captured, O Babel, and you yourself did not know. And you have been found and also cut, because you strove against Yah. And Yah has opened his armory and has brought out the weapons of his displeasure. For the master Elohim of hosts has a work to do in the land of the Kasdim. Come against her from every corner, open her storehouses, 
pile her up as heaps of ruins and put her under the ban. Let her have no remnant. Slay all her bulls. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe to them, for their day has come, the time of their punishment. Listen, they flee and escape from the land of Babel to declare in Zion the vengeance of Yah our Elohim, the vengeance of his heckle. Summon archers against Babel, all you who bend the bow, encamped against it all around. Let no one escape. Repay her according to her work. Do to her according to all she has done. For she has been proud against Yah, against the set-apart one of Israel. Therefore her young men shall fall in the streets, and all her men of battle shall perish in that day, declares Yah. See, I am against you, O proud one, declares the master Yah of hosts. For your day has come, the time of your punishment. And the proud one shall stumble, and he shall fall, with no one to raise him up. And I shall kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all around him. Thus said Yah of hosts, the children of Israel were oppressed, along with the children of Yehuda, And all who took them captive had held them fast. They refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong. Yah of hosts is his name. He shall strongly plead their case, as to give rest to the land, but unrest to the inhabitants of Babel. A sword is upon the Kazdim, declares Yah, as it is upon the inhabitants of Babel, and upon her heads, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall be fools. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be broken down. A sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mixed peoples who are in her midst, and they shall be like women. A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be plundered. A sword is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. For it is a land of carved images, and they boast about their idols. Therefore the wild desert beasts shall dwell with the jackals, and the ostriches dwell in it. And it shall never again be inhabited nor dwell in unto all generations. As Elohim overthrew Saddam and Amorah in their neighboring cities, declares Yah, so no one would dwell there, nor would son of man sojourn in it. See, a people shall come from the north, and a great nation and many sovereigns stir up from the ends of the earth. They strengthen their bow and spear. They are cruel, and they show no compassion. They sound like the roaring sea, and ride on horses, set in army, like a man for battle against you, O daughter of Babel. The sovereign of Babel has heard the report about them, and his hands became weak. Distress has taken hold of him, pain like that of a woman in labor. See, he comes up like a lion from the yard and jungle, against the enduring pasture. But in an instant I shall make them run away from her. And who is the chosen one whom I appoint against her? For who is like me? Who summons me? And who is that shepherd who stands before me? Therefore hear the counsel of Yah, which he has counseled concerning Babel, and his purposes he has purposed concerning the land of the Kazdim. The least of the flock shall drag them away. He shall make their pasture a waste before them. At the sound of Babel's capture, the earth shall be shaken, and the outcry shall be heard among the nations.